We are the biblical Israelites. We are the people of the book. Every day, more and more of us are waking up out of our deep sleep and redeeming the time that we have lost. These ancient Israelite wisdom videos will help to guide you through the awakening process and answer many questions you have as you come into the truth of the law and the testimony. All scripture references are from the King James Version of the Bible, and the Bible is our book. If you have spent any amount of time reading our book, then you already know that the book tells us the truth, and it also tells us to tell the truth, as it is written, Ephesians 4.25, Wherefore put away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. We are told to put away lying and to speak the truth. This is because we live in a world where deception and lies often seem easier and more convenient than telling the truth. But once you come into a relationship with Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and our Abba Yahweh, you will learn that the importance of honesty and truth cannot be overstated or overlooked. Honesty is not just a virtue, it is a fundamental pillar of integrity and trust, and it should be a major part of your new identity as the children of Yasharala. We can no longer be people of lies and dishonesty. We have to begin to walk in the light the same way that the Messiah walks in the light. As it is written, 1 John 1, 5, This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you, that Yah is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Yahawashai HaMashiach, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. The quality of our reputation as Israelites should be transforming every day with everyone that comes into contact with us. If they knew us before we came into the truth, then when they see us now, they should see and know that there is a difference in us and that a change is taking place in our lives. If your old friends don't see any difference or change in you and what you do, then that means there probably isn't one. Now, for us men, being an Israelite is more than just wearing fringes and growing a beard. It's about changing our reputation and walking in the truth. As it is written, 3 John 1 verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. In this modern world, honesty is considered the foundation of ethical behavior. It involves presenting facts and information exactly as they are, without distortion or fabrication, without adding anything to or taking anything away from. We know that the word of the Most High is truth and he commands us several times not to add anything to his word and not to take anything away from it either. As it is written, Deuteronomy 4, 2. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of Yahweh your Allah which I command you. Deuteronomy is in the beginning of the Bible, but this instruction is repeated in the middle of the Bible, as it is written, Proverbs 30, verse 6. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. And this same wisdom is repeated an additional time at the end of the Bible, as it is written, Revelation 22:18, 18, 
For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, Yah shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yah shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. When we have the truth and we add something to it, like our opinion or our feelings about it, then it becomes tainted and altered. But in its raw state, it is pure. When we take something away from it, it is because we are purposefully being deceptive and concealing some information that we don't want others to know. This is what many pastors and preachers are doing with the word when they add their own opinions to it or change what it says to fit their own agenda or doctrinal viewpoint. This is also what happens when they conceal certain key details about the truth because it will cause their whole theology to fall apart. I tell you that any so-called pastor or preacher who has been reading this Bible for any amount of time should be able to clearly see the truth that we are the biblical Israelites and that we as followers of the Messiah must still keep the commandments. When you go to these Christian churches, if they aren't telling you that, then they are concealing the truth from you. At its very core, honesty is about being truthful, transparent, and trustworthy. It's a principle that transcends all cultural and societal boundaries, forming a universal moral compass that guides our interactions with other people. But for us Israelites, being truthful is more than that. It's a tangible part of our identity. We are growing every day and becoming a new man, and that man is fashioned after the Messiah, and the Messiah clearly lets the world know that he is the truth. As it is written, John 14, 6, Yahweh saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If he is the truth and we are being reborn in his image, then we also must become the truth. You can't say that you're becoming the truth if your lifestyle is still full of lies and deceit. Even if you used to lie on a regular basis, now is the time to come out of those habits. As it is written, Ephesians 4.25 Wherefore, put away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. We speak the truth because we believe that it promotes fairness and justice. When individuals lie or deceive, they disrupt the balance of truth and trust in their relationships and society at large. Lies are specifically designed to harm other people infringing upon their rights and causing pain or injustice. If you have ever been the recipient of a lie from someone you trusted, then you know that it is a terrible habit for someone to have. As it is written, Ecclesiasticus 7.12 Devise not a lie against thy brother, neither do the like to thy friend. Use not to make any manner of lie, for the custom thereof is not good. Satan is the master of deception. And when we tell lies, we are showing that we are not the children of the father, but instead the children of Satan. If the father is truth and Yahweh is the truth, and the father's children are commanded to speak the truth, then Satan has to make an opposite of that. So Satan is the opposite of the truth, and he is the father of lies, and his children are all liars. As it is written, John 8, 44, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Moreover, 
speaking now on every relationship you have in your life, honesty is essential for personal growth and self-improvement. When we are truthful with ourselves and with others, we create a foundation for self-awareness and self-improvement. When we acknowledge our mistakes and learn from them, that leads to our personal growth and stronger character. When we don't acknowledge our mistakes and learn from them, but instead just overlook them, we regress back to an immature state with no responsibility for our actions. Now, I want to share with you four very practical benefits of telling the truth. You will be able to see all of these show up in your life once you become a child of the truth. Number one, building trust. Trust is the foundation of any healthy relationship. Whether it's in the workplace, it's friendships or romantic partnerships, people naturally gravitate towards individuals that they can trust. When you consistently tell the truth, you become a reliable and trustworthy person, making it easier to form and maintain meaningful connections. Number two, conflict resolution. Honesty plays a vital role in resolving conflicts. When conflicts arise, addressing them honestly and openly can lead to quicker resolutions. Conversely, deception or lies can escalate conflicts, eroding trust and making reconciliation more challenging. Number three, stress reduction. The burden of maintaining lies and deceit can be emotionally and mentally exhausting. Living a life of honesty reduces stress and anxiety, as there is no need to constantly worry about the consequences of being found out. Number four, enhanced reputation. In both personal and professional settings, an honest reputation is highly valuable. Employers, colleagues, and friends are more likely to respect and value individuals known for their honesty and integrity. Remember, we live in a world filled with complexities and temptations, but the power of telling the truth remains undiminished. Honesty is not just a moral obligation. It is a practical and essential aspect of building a just, fair, and harmonious society. It is the root of our relationship with the Father and Yahawashai. I remember now one of the hardest things for me and many of us Israelites, when we first came into the truth at the beginning of our walk, was accepting that we had been deceived for so long and accepting that we were following false doctrines and the customs and commandments of men. You think back for a moment now about how hurt and angry you were when you found out that the world had been deceiving you. Now that you know the truth, you have to speak and work to share the truth with our people so they can also come out of the lies and deception. You have to become the truth so that you can teach the truth and also help someone else to become the truth. Yahawashai told us what the truth would do, and we are the living proof that it works and produces the desired outcome that the Father would have. As it is written, John 8, 32, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now that we are free from the lies being told to us, let us also become free from the lies that we have been telling, so that we may walk as the children of light. <laughs>